My name is Sandra Stotsky. I am at present a retired professor emerita at the University of Arkansas. Ten years ago, I was the senior associate commissioner in the Massachusetts Department of Education and was the person responsible for the development of all of our K-12 academic standards in all major subjects, as well as teacher licensing tests and other things. I have also been on the Common Core Validation Committee, which is what is the introduction to what I'm going to say here. I was one of the 25 or so members who served on the committee from 2009 to 2010. I was a very frustrated member of the committee because I kept asking for information on the countries we were supposedly being benchmarked with. I wanted information on the research base for the English language art standards and reading standards that were being developed. That's my particular area of expertise from graduate work. And I couldn't get any information at all. We could never get the names of the countries the one mathematician on the panel, Professor Milgram from Stanford University, was as frustrated as I was. We could not find out what countries we were benchmarked with in either mathematics or English language arts, and he could tell from the topics that were mentioned in the mathematics standards that by grade eight, American students would be about two years behind their peers in high achieving countries. It's less easy to tell in the English language arts, but I would certainly agree in general that Common Core's standards were not going to be preparing American students for authentic college level work in any subject. And one of the main issues in the English language arts standards, which I spent my time analyzing and trying to help, although I never got any responses from to the standards writers that the Gates Foundation had put into place to write standards, I kept trying to point out that you could not have a 50-50 division of reading instruction, 50% for informational reading and writing and 50% for literary texts from K to 12 in the English class. To begin with, there was no evidence from any kind of research that a stress on informational reading and writing would prepare students better for college level work than an emphasis on what English teachers have always done and been trained to do, and that is to emphasize the study of complex literary texts so that students could learn about the subtleties, the archaisms, the difficult vocabulary, the complexities of older literary works, particularly those written before the 1970s. In other words, not just contemporary works, but older works where authors used complex sentences and very difficult vocabulary. Unfortunately, Common Core has reduced the number of literary texts that English teachers will be able to teach because the mandate is for at least 50% informational reading and writing, which is not what English teachers have been trained to teach at any time in their majors or in their educational preparation programs. That division of reading instruction also diminishes the ability of students to develop critical thinking skills, which is another false claim of the Common Core standards. It will not improve critical thinking skills, it will reduce the ability to develop critical thinking skills because students will not be taught how to read between the lines of the complex literary texts they once were taught how to read.